Hi there, I'm Sarah, and I'm here to talk to you as a person, to another person, about why it's so important to me to adopt. First of all, thank you from the bottom of my heart for checking out this video and for considering me and my family in this most important decision. I was, I'm a teacher, and I tried this video several times, and the first probably 40 times I did it, I felt wooden and I felt uncomfortable. So here I am talking to you from the heart. I wanted to let you know that my family, my home, my life is full of love. It's full of wonderful people. It's full of fantastic events and interesting adventures. And my, my mother and I who lived together, we moved in together for this very purpose so that she could be a full-time grandma and it would be a lot easier for me to be a single mom. We both taught from preschool to undergraduate, although she's done more of the preschool and I've done more of the undergraduate. And we both feel that teaching kids, that loving kids, that teaching them to go forth in their lives as productive, intelligent, creative individuals is the most important thing we've ever done. Three years ago when I moved to Virginia, I came here by myself. I had been to Virginia maybe once. My father used to live in Baltimore. And I didn't know a soul. And it was challenging. It was terrifying. But I packed all of my stuff in my car and I came here. We moved into this beautiful 105 year old, beautiful Victorian house, which we bought when my mother came down to live here about it, well, a little less than a year ago. Um, we wanted to move into a place that had some history, that had some beauty. Um, and it was just a bonus that we found a house that overlooks the water and we can see this beautiful, beautiful view every morning when I wake up. It's incredible. But all of those choices were made with the express purpose of being the best mom I can possibly be, of sharing a life with my child that I wanted and that makes sense to me. When my former students heard about this process, I haven't told my recent students, my present students, excuse me, but I have told my former students and when I've talked to them about this, the ones I talked to were incredibly excited by the idea and across the board they all said, you'll be the best mom ever and saying some things about me that quite frankly made me teary <laughs> because I love these people, these adults, not kids, they're not kids, they're adults. I love these people very much and they are my second family. So I've come to my nursery here that I've been preparing since we bought the house. I'm kind of a sentimental person and there are things in here that belong to me, things in here that belong to people all the way back to my grandfather. Probably one of the most important things in this room. This is Baby Doe. Baby Doe is precisely as old as I am, but Baby Doe was bought when I was born, the day I was born at the hospital gift shop. When my father found out he had a girl, he ran out to the gift shop and he bought Baby Doe. Baby Doe has been to probably 15 states, probably 20, 25 houses. She's been around. She's moved with me, she's gone on all of my old jobs back in the days when I used to travel a lot for work and Baby Doe is showing her age. She's getting a little hole in her knee, she's got a little hole in this wrist. This lace has never been on in my recent memory. Baby Doe is old. Baby Doe is beloved. She's always been with me and now I'm ready to hand her off to somebody else. He lived at my grandmother's house when we were kids and mostly stayed in the garage, but my brother and I 
even until we were way too old to play with Rolly Bear, would make a beeline for the garage and pull him out and pull him along by his little plastic string, which still exists, surprisingly enough. So Rolly Bear is ready to be passed along to my kid. Right here, I have a rocking chair that was made by my great-grandfather for my grandfather on the ship over here from Italy. It's really an important piece to me. Pretty darned amazing as far as, as far as family heirlooms go. Not really valuable, but wonderful all the same. Now, as far as new memories go, I decided a long time ago that my nursery was going to be in a classic poo theme. I had some free time at work where I sew for my job. And so in my free time, they wanted me to look busy. So I looked busy by making a classic poo quilt. I did a little, little bed skirt, as well as three or four sets of sheets. I teach students how to make costumes for theatrical productions. That actually is a job. You can actually get degrees in it, surprisingly enough, and I have two. In any case, I love, I love clothes. And so I've collected enough clothes probably for the first six or eight months, I would hope. It's already been a lot of fun. Just to let you know that as much as I enjoy being spontaneous and silly and bouncy and fun, I also take very seriously the responsibility of creating an environment for the absolute best possible development of a child. So once again, thank you so much, so much for watching. Thank you so much for considering me and my family. And I hope that no matter how this process goes for you, that you feel confident in your decision, that you feel supported, that you feel loved and peaceful, and that you've made the right choice. Thank you so much.